Hey, this is Matt from Vesquan. Today is Thursday, October 28, 2021. Today is the second to last day of October. That is a special seasonality day that we can look at with and discover and see what has happened historically during this second to last trading day of the month. So let's go ahead and set that up. I'm gonna grab all four instruments. The setup will be based upon entering the market long at the open of regular trading hours, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. The exit set to 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now for this study that we're gonna run this morning, we are simply gonna be looking at seasonality. We will not be adding any additional uh, context to this study. That is something you can do on your own if you choose to, but I am not going to for this video. I am simply gonna go down to the calendar library and I'm going to say that it is the month of October, and I'm gonna grab that from right here. I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit, hit equals next to October, and then I'm going to grab the day before last day of the month from our unique days category. So day before last day of the month, it is right there. I can hit equals next to that. I can also grab either of those from the act of today. Uh, they're both available there. And now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at the open of regular trading hours, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time on the second to last trading day of October. Historically, we've got 18 samples to look at for each of the instruments dating back to 2003. If we look at the win rates on them, they are all uh, strong except for the Russell. So the S&P is coming in at 67%. The NASDAQ is coming in at 78%. The Dow, 67%, and the Russell is the one outlier here at 39%. So three of the four have been pretty strong on this day, historically speaking, dating back to 2003. If we look at the average moves, the S&P has had larger average wins compared to its average loss. That is also the case for the NASDAQ. That is the case for the Dow and the Russell. So all four of these instruments have had larger moves to the upside compared to their moves to the downside. And three of the four have closed above the open more often than not. So historically speaking, dating back to 2003, this day before the last trading day of the month of October has been fairly bullish. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we'll see you next time.